Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you what is new in a small and multiples chart in November 2022 Power BI update. If you don't know what is a small and multiple chart, don't worry. I will show you how to create a small and multiples and also show you what is new in a small and multiples. Let us jump to the computer for the demo. First thing I'm going to do, I will add a column chart here. So let me increase the size. And what I'm going to do, I will display year wise order quantity. So from my data table, I will add a year on X axis and order quantity on Y axis. So here you can see order quantity by year. Let me enable a data level as well. So my data level is enabled. Now what I'm going to do, I will convert this column chart into small and multiples by country. So let me go here. And here you can see there is one option, small and multiples. Okay, to split the visuals. So what I'm going to do, I will add a country column from my data table to small and multiples. If you see here, I have add, sorry, I have added customer, so I need to add a country. So I have added the country. So if you notice here, the my column chart is divided. So order quantity by year and country. So this is Australia, Canada, so it is divided. And one thing here, you if you will notice, this Y axis is same for all the countries. Whether it will be Australia, Canada, it but it is not depending on the value. So somewhere you if you it is started from 0k to 60, and here in the for Australia, you see the order quantity bar is very smaller. The main key highlights is to unshare and unsynchronize access of small and multiples. So let's see how we can unshare and unsynchronize Y axis. So we will again go to formatting pan and we will expand a Y axis. And here you can see I will disable shared Y axis. I will disable first and I will say scale to fit. So once I will say scale to fit. Now, if you notice for Australia, we have a different Y axis. For Canada, we have a different Y axis. For France, we have a different Y axis. For Germany, we have a different Y axis. So now the this column chart looks good. Like, you know, it now it will be adjusted according to the order quantity value. That's all for this video. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching and I request you to please subscribe my channel.